Okay, so um, for the practical one, um, you will have to go through this exercise first. So they are listed from uh, page 41. So on the page 41, um, basically, we have to read the insurance. But before we can proceed, you have to um, define your working directory. So working, di uh, working directory is where you put all your resources, your file that you want to um, get the data or read the, the input from and also to write um, a file into that directory in case if you want to save them. Okay. So um, what you can do is you go to the file and then change directory. So over here you can ch um, specify which working directory that you, you want to be. So in my case, I go to D and then my teaching and then 2002 and then I am here, working directory. Can you see? Okay. So um, I just click OK. So that means whatever file I have here. So uh, this is. So when I want to read the data from that, that particular working directory, I just type this one. Can you see this one? So, so meaning that in this statement, we are reading this file uh, from the working directory. So make sure this file already um, stored in your working directory. So I will also provide this file. So this one is a statement saying that all the string or st um, string of character um, will be considered as vector or label. They are not considered as string string of character. So remember that in in um, trying to learn your data, we could have numerical value, ordinal value, or um, nominal value. Okay. So string of character meaning that we are maintaining the data as label. Okay. So if you look at the structure of your data, I just type insurance. So this one will show you the structure of your data. So I have 1,338 objects, seven variables. So when I say uh, string as factor true, meaning that my value for the sex will, will be female and male, they are labeled. Okay. So that's why a female is one, male is two and so on. And then um, similar to smoker region, they are considered as vector or label. No, yes, not east, not west, and so on. And the rest, age, BMI, um, children, and charges, they are number or uh, integer. Okay. And then, um, if I want to look at the charges, because we wanted to model the charges. So these are the charges that we charge to the uh, customer or patient. So most of the charges are around 10,000 and below. So we have not many for 40,000, 45,000 and so on. So this is the histogram of insurance of the charges column okay so we use this command lah. and then um, we also can look at the correlation between all the variable so in this case i look at the correlation for the insurance data and i will look at the column age bmi children and charges only because these are integer and numbers okay so the higher is the num the value is the more correlated they are so this is um, analyzing the correlation between the variable 
uh, we could also display them, visualize them using the pair command. So this one will uh, show us the uh, visual of the data that we have. So we know that um, age and charges somehow has linear uh, relation and the other do, do not have. And then um, we could also use this um, the pair panel which give you more um, more option so we install this psychic um, package for us to display a new type of um, vis visualization so by typing this we will have this panel so this is more interesting because we we have a correlation number here and then we also have the bottom side here so the bottom side here um the more stretch the circle the more correlated they are so if they're more round that means they um not very high correlation okay so this is a combination between the graph and also the number So let's suppose we want to model them. So what we, what we can do is that we can use the linear model. So what I type here is that I just give the name of the model, insurance model. So I'm using linear model. Um, the charges will be my dependent and age, children, BMI, sex, smoke, and region will be my independent. So this is my uh, model. So if I want to look at the, the summary of my model, so I just type this. So this one will give me the um, summary. So um, what you have to know here is that all the, as long as the, as long as the p value is less than 0 0.05, they are significant uh, contribution to the um, modeling the charges. So over here, we know that the age, children, BMI, all have sig significant contribution. Okay. So for this one, it says that for each year, um, the age increase, the pay will be higher. Uh, each additional children you have, you have to pay 475. And then if you gain one BMI, you will have pay 339. And then if you are male, you pay less. If you smoker, you pay this much amount again, and so on. Okay. So uh, since this is a multiple linear regression, we have to look at this one. Adjusted R square. So the adjusted r square saying that uh, 75 variation of the data can be described by this model so this is good okay so you could also model this by using um, two variable only okay age and children and if you want to see the this one so the age the amount of money that you need to it will be different like, compared to the previous one okay and also the adjusted r square will be lower so this is 0 0.09 this is 0 0.75 so the higher the r square is the better is your model okay so meaning that if we are trying to model the charges using the age and children only it is not um, recommended because we have lower adjusted R square. Okay. 
And that's it for the regression analysis um, for the multiple linear regression. Um, I will post the exercise on Smart3. So you, you can start looking into that one.